But we also want to talk about the Jewish community. There was a Jewish community, quite a large Jewish community, that lived in Arabia. And some of those people had specifically emigrated because they were expecting in Arabia the coming of the last prophet. In fact, out of the rabbis of Medina, half of them actually became Muslim. And one of the very famous and most learned of the rabbis of Medina was Abdullah ibn Salam. In fact, he said concerning the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, we knew your name and we knew the time and the place of your coming. And he accepted Islam. In fact, when he accepted Islam, he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, the Jews are a very tricky people. So let us test them before we announce my embracing Islam. So what he did is he gathered all the Jews and he got the Prophet Muhammad to talk to them. And the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, asked the Jews, he said to them, what would you say if Abdullah ibn Salam became Muslim? They said, may Allah protect us from that, he will never become Muslim. He said, well, what do you think of him? He said, he's the best of us and the most knowledgeable person amongst us, and he is the wisest amongst us, he would never become Muslim. And again, the Prophet said, what would you say if he became Muslim? They said, no, he will never become Muslim, may Allah protect us from that. And when they said that the third time, then Abdullah ibn Salam stepped out from where he was hiding. He said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And when he said that, then the Jews started saying, he is the most ignorant amongst us and he's the worst amongst us and he is the least one to uh, know anything amongst us. So they completely changed their tune once he had become Muslim. But Abdullah ibn Salam was one of the very famous Jews and the Jewish rabbis who converted to Islam in the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa because he recognized that Muhammad was the person that had been foretold in his scriptures. We're going to have some more fantastic stories and amazing histories of those people of the book who converted to Islam based on their knowledge of the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad in the Bible and we're going to be detailing some of those in our next episode. So don't forget to join us for the proof that Islam is the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.